Alrighty, so, our brave new set of adventurers to try and take on the giant threat taking on the Sword Coast have emerged. This is all that there has the adventurers' minds at the moment. You guys, you team, were all along the tradeway, the long, wa winding road that follows along the Sword Coast, the most, um, the most travelled trek for all merchants and wanderers that are looking to get anywhere north to south, really, while on this side of the continent. It passes through all the major cities, and as such, all the most major trades go on. Now, just a little southeast of Waterdeep, the high road trails off towards the Ardeep Forest, which, for all your various reasons, you guys have begun to head over in that direction. You've been travelling along the high road for days, as the evening approaches, you spot a wooden signpost next to a trail that heads north into the hills. Nailed to the post are three arrow-shaped arrow signs, the two marked Waterdeep and Daggerfoot. Follow the high road, but point in opposite directions. The third marked Nightstone beckons you to follow the trail. If memory serves, Nightstone is roughly ten miles up the trail. You do so without too much uh, hassle. Um, some of you don't know each other. You will have just happened to be walking by and it's not a great grand ordeal. Um, you just happen to be some catching up or another, some getting in eyesight of another. You may not even exchange any pleasantries because, you know, you're just all fellow travellers on your way to a common goal. That being said, however... That being said, however, the sight before you, as Nightstone seems to come up closer, is weird. After following the trail for tens of miles, you hear a sound. So this is the sound you guys hear as you're approaching towards Nightstone. The sound goes louder as Nightstone comes into view. Um, a river flows around the settlement, forming a moat. The village itself is contained within a wooden palisade, beyond which you see a windmill, a tall steeple, and a high-pitched rooftops of several other buildings. Apart from the ringing of the bell, you detect no other activity in the village. And the trail ends before a lowered drawbridge that spans the moat. Beyond the drawbridge, two stone watchtowers flank an open gape in the palisade. South of the village and surrounded by the river moat is a cone-shaped flat top hill on which stands a stone keep enclosed by a wooden wall. The keep, which overlooks the village, has partially collapsed. A wooden bridge that had once connected the keep to the village has also partially collapsed. And from there, you guys emerge down here from the tradeway. You guys are now, like, at this point, um, approaching this little town. And you, you can all tell that something is amiss. It's, it's clearly amiss. And uh, you're not cool with it. How do you guys intend to proceed? And by all means, how do you guys intend to introduce one another for the first time so um Torland, my character and Outrick are traveling together so am i um looking at the collapsed drawbridge and the, the state of the bridge ah. in between the town yeah. uh just to correct you the drawbridge is not collapsed however oh. there is an area which um there is a, another like walkway that spans the moat that was collapsed uh, that would be this area here, um, which spans towards the keep that's on the middle of this isolated hill. And as you can see, that has been, like, caved in and has apparently broken, while the drawbridge over here looks perfectly fine and functional, though open. And all the while, that church bell continues to ring. Is the church on the big island or the little island? The big island. Mm. From what you can tell from the sound. I'll say to Outrick, I don't like this. Could be trouble. 
I'm going to butt in there and I'm going to say, oh, it definitely sounds like trouble to me. Could be up for a fight. Oh, I'm always up for a fight. Right, right. Okay. Well, we've got a strange collection of characters coming behind us, so I was just, you know, collaborate on this one. And I turn behind me. Yeah. I'm turn behind me and I say, Hail! <laughs> I don't know, I just like, I'm, I don't oh, even yeah. like that. I just like, I just like... <laughs> I like getting in the moment. I'm trying to get into character. I don't know, Torland is like a, you know, he's uh, he's lawful. He likes proceed, he likes a bit of procedure. He likes manners, so... That's cool, that's but it. I just want to... he's a bit of an older guy, Yeah, so. but like like I say, you don't need to say... Yeah, cool. Um, I do it all the time. Thy yeah. and thou and thee and but whatnot. I might say hail, because I just like that. Yeah. I don't know say hail! <laughs> What are you saying, boys? Huh? You just... walking in there. <laughs> That's an odd reply to when somebody just says hello, and... Yeah, for... You, you say hello and hail, and half the people there silently stare at you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hail me? <laughs> Who hails someone on the road? <laughs> someone who might be needing to you be a colleague in the future. Looks like Nightstone's in a bit of trouble. I'm going to, uh, you, you see this, like, uh, a, a person, like a small person in a, in a, like a full cloak, just walk, like, five or ten feet from you, and you start, like, to track the ground to see what is, uh, to see, like, if there is any tracking that would indicate. Ah, that's, that's, a, that's very nice of you to say, um, actually, little, uh, little twists. So, actually, yeah, so... The little kobold goes ahead, and you guys can roleplay your steady advance as you go, if you like. Um, now, over here, you can begin to start seeing some tracks. And I would like you, Twist, to give me a survival check, please. Or an investigation, what? whichever you prefer. Okay. Uh, it, it, does not, it, yeah, it does not concern your favorite enemy, so no advantage to this check. Can I... Oh, my <laughs> God! Oh! Oh, shit! That's oh! the first roll of the game. <laughs> oh, my God! And it's a double! Oh, my God! Right. Twist. Um, this has got some skills. Yeah. That's a good omen. Twist. Um, okay. Do you know Sherlock at all? Your <laughs> eyes widen. Your eyes widen a bit as, like... All your senses open up and become, like, otherworldly. Um, you know, by every single person that has ever walked here, when and how and why. <laughs> well, almost why. Uh, you're not that good. However, I will tell you the following amounts of details. Several dozens of villagers fled out of this place first. They all went up, and they all went towards the north. Um, they were all humanoid. Um, and then, after that, something like half a day later, then came several um, dozens of goblins. But with that crit, I don't mind telling you uh, how many that was. Uh, that would be one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen kobold, thirteen goblin like feet precisely entered this area. They all came towards this place. And then there's two sets of unusually large wolf tracks. And you know instantly that these are warg. These are warg creatures. And um, in fact, I'll try and see if I can get you guys some handouts. Yeah, I've got handouts. You shall now see some goblins. Yeah. Twist tells you, you know Twist, that there's 13 of these fuckers hiding around in here. And there's also two of these large wolf-like creatures that usually are mounted by goblins called warg. Which you do see there. Um, and yeah, Twist, you just 
you get all this information. This is just stuff that you've you've gleaned, and you know all this perfectly. You know for a fact that you're on point. You you have like a toe, like five goblin toes, just to confirm it. So yeah, go from there. You look like you've yeah. just seen a ghost, <laughs> kobold. What is it? Yes, uh, Twist just like laid down for a moment and just like, <laughs> hmm, there seems to be a group of villagers just go out to the north. Good. That is not the big concern. I think there was, yeah, yeah, 13 and a 2. 13 goblins and a 2 walks is going inside. Not a baker's dozen of goblins. Yep, um, yep, we are in for a hostile. DM, how tall is the palisade? Uh, the palisade is 15 feet tall. Um, and after, before that, though, you have a 30 feet moat that's likely about 15 feet deep. And <laughs> for the sake of swimming, this is merely um, difficult terrain. It Every one like, foot of. Does the palisade start at uh, the same level as us? So, how high yes. to the top of the palisade? Yeah, the palisades so start at the same level level. as you. Okay. Um, can I open my cloak and a small smoky mass just kind of like flies up into the air and my eyes go white uh, as I look through my familiar's eyes to yes. try and just get a, a view of the, the town. How far can your familiar travel from you? Um, a hundred feet from me from for me to still be able to see through his eyes. He can travel as far away as I'd send him but I can't communicate with him away from a hundred feet. So he can basically I just want to send him directly up yeah, so I, I feel you. Directly up about sixty feet, so he can see directly over the palisade and just kind of get a general feel. That's cool. Um, just because of like that, he's... I'm going to say the limit of his range is um, thirty feet beyond that one hundred. So you see a hundred and thirty feet from your position. I think that's the easiest okay. way to open all this up. What What is your familiar? Uh, he is a smoke method. Oh, yes, what? he is. Smoke method. You know what? We don't even have to guess. I can give you a handout. Yay. Boom. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Yes, so he is this long nosed, um, tiny he is he is a small to tiny like creature that has these long like wisp wispy talons and these long winding trails of smoke following his being. He looks very much just just like a smoke ball, really, floating around. Now okay. now it's to creepy. reveal areas. He is a little creepy. It, it can't be said. Yeah. Uh, I'm not the uh, friendliest looking. <laughs> <laughs> tall, tall and tester, actually. I'm, These are some I'm strange companions. Um, you know what? I think I'll let your method. Either method would be able to see into the square. I think that's a given. And would. You know, yeah, you know what? You know what? It would just see all of it. It would just see all of it. Boom. Yes, you understand all of this, and you spent some time to relay this to your fellow teammates, but uh, what what you're seeing here are not a bunch of pimples, but across here, these are huge boulders that have come down. And what you can tell via some of the uh, punctures that they've made, they have not been chucked across. In fact... You would have feared that there would have been some amount of skid marks to a thrown boulder. But all of these are direct thunks down to the ground. Now, aside from them, there's also this large gaping hole in the middle of the town square. That seems to be beside two wharves nearby. There's also a, there's a couple of uh, goblins here in these fields, just sort of milling about. Um, they seem to be just like jostling one another. And all the while, the church bell continues to ring from over here. In that building, what appears to be the chapel. Okay. So uh, they, don't, they yeah. don't see his little smoke thing. Um, he's very tiny and they're quite far away and it, he's in the air. So unless they're looking up. It would be cool. it would be catching a little grey cloud, you know, okay. to the sky. So you can do a really, stealth check for him if you want. Oh no, no, <laughs> to fly no! Directly into the air. <laughs> Wargs but, um, aren't going to be paying attention to flyborn creatures, and these little goblins aren't noticing anything at all. No, like um, I say, he's a uh, he's very stealthy in the <clears> sense that he does disappear like a little grey cloud in the sky. 
you know? So yeah, I, uh, when I'm looking through the eyes of my familiar, my eyes go white, and I can't hear what they're saying to me. I, fe- I see and hear what my familiar sees and hears, but I can feel and I can speak. So I basically, as I send him up, I just kind of tell everybody, like, the basic layout of the village. I just kind of pinpoint, like, using points on a, on a sundial, not a clock, yeah. <laughs> uh, like 12, and then just tell everyone where everything basically is and describe what I see enemies-wise. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, no, never mind. I don't know anything about catapults or ballistas or anything. Well, I don't, I don't really. Say any, I don't really talk about the uh, the boulders yet because I don't feel like they're overly relevant. To okay. The immediate hostility. Yeah, that's that's totally fair. By the way, I forgot to mention, you guys have all made your characters beforehand, so you all start off with one point of inspiration. Oh, cool. Hmm. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. You'll have to earn your next inspirations, but um, I give inspiration to a person that saved me game time, making their character. Nice. Yeah. I'll take what I can get. I feel like Moradin is with me. Yes. <laughs> so you all have inspiration to work with, just for the beginning. But you get a full layout of the land. You understand its, uh, you know, it, its areas and whatnot. Um you uh you didn't ca- your your gaze was a bit too far for the keep over to the uh the side so i'm not going to reveal that yet yeah um, i wasn't looking in that direction yet that's all cool so how do you guys progress we're off to a good start we know how many are there we can see where some of them are yes and they do not know that we are coming we Is have that that half italian half russian yeah. It's, it's, it's not half Italian, half Russian. It keeps swapping between the two. I like it. Yeah. Nice accent. I like it. Yeah. Um, cool. But is this our problem? So I mean, we we could just walk away. You <sighs> could. I I won't lie to you, dudes. If you do just walk away, I will be totally okay with it. Yeah. I I, I wouldn't. I don't think I would want to do that anyway. I'm not. No. I'm not going to shy away from a fight. Just um, say, just, just give an option. Can my smoke, option. Can my smoke method see any people? Um, no, no. In the in the scanner, it did do. There were most definitely no people. However, you will see dead people. A few mm. of them peeking legs out, heads out, um, with a few scratches from warg faces gnarling and maybe co- goblin pinching or whatnot, but. There are a few humanoid figures that are poking out half underneath some of these boulders. Oh. oh. Yeah. If I had to go out on a whim here, I'd say the chapel. There's baby people in the chapel calling out for help. Is the chapel this building here? Uh, this one. It's this one, isn't it? That's yeah. correct. It's uh, this one over here. Okay. All the pings. Yes. <laughs> I reckon if we... If we can get past the uh, the wargs, yeah, sne- sneaky like, kind of ra- just around, the- straight through the gate, around the corner to the left. If we're sneaky, we can get into the chapel without a fuss. I think I think you might be right there. I like that idea. Mm. Or to make it a sure thing, some of us could run a distraction. Ooh. Oh, oh. twist. <laughs> uh, out of interest for when your smoke method looked at these wargs, they are kind of distracted um, in the sense that they seem to be um, eating and scr- uh, like tearing flesh from a slaughtered dog. Is it a big dog? Well, yeah, pretty big. That should buy us some time. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's not a true oh, hour. Uh, <laughs> quick questions. Uh, does this border border uh, providing cover, it'd be like standing behind it. Yeah, it will. Pro- it will provide full cover if. Uh, yeah, it, it can provide cover like that. Totally, it it's as high and wide as a person would be. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's get a move on then. Yeah. Yeah, I say we uh, we play it play it sneaky as default, and. Um... If something happens, then we can 
draw blood. You can draw, <laughs> draw blood. Yeah. Draw, and, draw. Like, some of us can go check on the chapel while the other of us uh, take care of business. I don't know why people want to draw blood. I reckon drawing fan art would be better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, the smoke method comes back I down and just gets... Again back into my cloak. Yeah, I like to think he, like, disperses under the cloak, and whenever your cloak slightly opens up a bit, it's just, like, all misty and hazy in there. Like, a fog machine is just a bit loose. <laughs> like a fart going in reverse. Really yes. Sad sweat. <laughs> yes. I look awesome. At, I look at, I look at, um, Amandi. Adami? Whatever. Ad Admani. Um, Admani. What? I say, I'll say that. I'll say, what's your name? Admani. You? If we're going to die together in battle, we better know each other's names. Yeah. Can I just can I just ask a, a question? Uh, does, that that little, like... uh, does that little pixie come out of you? Uh, <laughs> Did you quite. give birth to it? <laughs> is it like a is it like a walking fart? Oh, uh, you could say. <laughs> French um... now. <laughs> is, is, it, is it painful when it comes back into your body? He does not go into my body. He hides underneath my cloak. Hey, you're a kobold! <laughs> That's pretty out there. <laughs> yes, talk to the kobold. <laughs> oh, uh, twist. Kobolds yes. are typically, fanatically, in love with Tiamat. Even if you weren't always a fan, you, you will have had periods where you felt a strong compulsion to resist or to go along with loving Tiamat. And this is a black dragonborn, fully kitted in mighty plate mail. You can choose so, to go with it or to deny it, but there is just a natural affinity you feel towards this great force, like this huge, powerful dragon. Don't think I ain't caught you eyeing me up, Twist. <laughs> <laughs> Whether Twist has grown beyond such things, that's up to you. But there's there's definitely something more deeply innate, you know. There's just it it's just it's like when you go to a Roman Catholic school and they batter you to start writing with a right hand, you know. After so much badgering, there's just some remnants of that conditioning in there, you know. It's more like, oh my god, he's handsome. Yes. <laughs> yes. Damn, that's us. Awesome. I like it. I'm like standing there with my horns waving in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I love when horns wave in the wind. Yeah, totally. It makes me horn. Oh, well done. <laughs> um, it wasn't well much done. of an effort, to be honest. So... <laughs> So I've not I've not ever met a kobold, but I've heard they're they're finicky little devils. How do we know that this isn't a trap, and this is some kind of spy working for the goblins? I don't like goblins. They they they're not the type. Besides, I hold up this golden nugget. I'm not the one to follow any bad influence, you know. Put that like gold nugget necklace <laughs> back into his into like his cl uh, cloak. Can oh, I roll cool. insight on that? Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. Uh, All okay. right. Um, I... if you are lying, <laughs> yeah, if you are lying, Twist, you can give me a deception. But otherwise, I'm pretty confident Twist is being completely honest. Yeah, she is very honest. And uh, does your does the insight allow you to know what? kind of a religion symbol that uh, golden nugget is? No, 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 no. That would be a religion I check. Religion. I can roll religion. Uh, okay. I can recognize I... it. <laughs> Insight is to sense one's motive and intent. Um, I didn't realize you could do a nugget a religion roll, but uh, yeah. Uh, I would say I would say because what's your god, Twist? P PM it. DM uh, it to me. Okay. It. Private oh. message me on uh, roll 20. Because if it's a dwarf god, then got that down to Yeah, because I I think there's a thing with it being a nugget. You'll tell him. You'll tell him. I'm pretty oh. confident. Um, I hope it's Tia Matt. Yeah, that's a Tia Matt's bad <laughs> The golden nugget of Tia Matt. 
Okay. No. How did I get up here, Matt? Yeah, Twist. Oh, is... Basically, basically got myself a slave if it's here, Matt. <laughs> Twist, are you open with your religious? Are you open with your religion? Um, he tried. She tried to hide it, but she wouldn't mind to tell if she was trust people enough. Okay. Why don't you tell us what that golden nugget resembles? Okay. Uh. It's the uh, resembles uh, that the symbols of uh, Gar Glitter Gold. Gar Glitter Gold. You were saying that earlier, but I thought this was just an NPC name. What pantheon does Gar Glitter Gold belong to? He's the gnomish god. Oh. He's the one who trapped. He's the reason that Cobalt hate gnomes. He's the one that trapped the Cobalt God into the maze. Oh, that's oh, that's right. very strange. What? That's awesome! I didn't know this. That's cool. Also, I didn't know Cobalt had a god beyond Tiamat. I'm learning all shit today. That's awesome. Wait, but isn't he the gnomish god that <laughs> they, they... over the Cobalts? Like... Yeah, he, yeah. They don't really have a god anymore because so, it's trapped in this maze. That do, god I recognize, god do I recognize it? Do I recognize <laughs> it? Yeah, I think it's because of a spell plague that like God is no longer like irrelevant. Or that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna say, yeah, right. Uh, with that religion roll, you will figure that out, and Twist will tell you. And uh, you learn a little thing about each other. Um, one thing in passing, Twist. These watchtowers are perfect for bows and arrows. And uh, if you wanted to set yourself up there for firing stuff, that would be a good place for you. Just in passing. All right. Um, quick question. Does the boulders over here block the entrance here? Do the boulders block the entrance? Um, not... Well, you'd have to get there to see, really. All right. It's not pressed up completely to the wall. All right, we make a move in here and talk all day, or we're going to save these people. All right. I'm with you. All right, then. So you guys plan to enter? Are you trying to be sneaky? Yeah, I was about to say. Perhaps we should try and get the jump on the. Yeah, trying to be sneaky. Yeah. yeah. yeah all right. All right, now, here's my question. Do you all want individual roles, or will you do this as a group check? A group check will save group you check. if you have, like, a nat one in there and whatnot. Group check. All group right. Check, yeah. Let's have a group I mean... check, then, please. One for all, all for one. All right. Good start. Good st uh, Yeah. With <laughs> a minus text. Um, Mr. Chainmail, oh. people... Oh, very. N oh, twist. Oh, do I have disadvantage? If you're in chainmail, yeah. I'm in. Ch I'm in chainmail. Yeah. Yeah, you got disadvantage. That makes my eight feel look pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh, there's. Also, there's cool. you need to change this so you're always <laughs> rolling with advantage. <laughs> yeah, you need to change this so you're always rolling with advantage, uh, so we know what the other outcome would be. However, that's not a net one, so it could be worse. But yeah, that's a one. That's a one. I I just keep my I have a advantage toggle, so I will just change it to what I need. Already awesome. I'm keeping it myself. Oh, there's Zero. been two nat crits. Opposite, opposite ends of the spectrum. Here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, missing any? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, I was trying one, to do two, three, four, five. five. I need one more, but I think between two crits, you guys are. You know, I think between two crits, you. Oh my, yo, so I thought I saw third. No. <laughs> I'm going to rule between two crits. Now, you guys are utterly stealthy. You move as a silent unit. The, <clears throat> even if these guys both crit perceptions, you know, you'd still be stealthy. So, you guys so are good. To get here. Sorry. Yeah, I think so. And then yeah. have a look into the chapel. Yeah. Uh, just to let you know from your scouting view, um, oh, excuse me, that uh, the only entryway you've seen from your uh, high view is over on the other side. So over here is where the doorway is. However, sure. before then, there are several uh, windows and uh, whatnot that uh, I shall show to you over this side. Can I tell what god this uh, church belongs to? Uh, with a religion check, sure. Okay, that's uh, catered to Lavender, God of the Dawn, and Mialiki, Goddess of the Forests. Uh, so two elvish pantheon sort of gods, uh, both typical in that sense. Um, but yeah, Lavender and Mialiki. 
Should we move that by the window then, yes? Around here? Yeah. If you are over there, then please position yourself over here. Oh. Okay. Uh, like that? Yes, exactly. Very nice, very nice. Now, you guys are also able to peer through the windows. And there is one such window over here. And a couple Sorry, over I here. I uh, you click it, and then you move it. Uh, there's yeah, there's nothing right. else to say except using the cursor tool. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a drag and drop. Drag and drop. Uh, you got this. I'm going to take a peek to that window. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, twist. What you see in there is a very ruined sort of bedroom of some kind, and in there you can see uh two uh goblins. And these two goblins are having a whale of a time holding onto um, a long rope that goes up above this room. And they are swinging gleefully along this knotted rope up and down. Which, from your position, you can tell, is causing the church bell to ring. I'm moved to, uh, to cross to um, this handsome... Dragonborn. Yeah. Uh, say... You are that beautiful. Uh, to him, we have two hostile inside. I'll pass it on to the Ganassia. We have two hostile inside. <laughs> I I pass it on. Hey, <laughs> Chinese whispers. <laughs> I, no, yeah. I, I just say uh, say to him, we've we've got like, I, I say something similar to, we have two hostiles inside. <laughs> no, please say the exact same thing. <laughs> we have two hostiles. What did you say, Jerry? We got two hostiles. What did you say, Bob? We have two hostiles. Uh, on the plus side, it doesn't like turn into like the last person, like Popo Monkey dishwasher. <laughs> nice. I think yeah. We should use this to our advantage. With them pulling the bell, it will hide the noises when we kill their friends. Yes. And plus, we know yeah. when the bell when Strategic. the bell stops, we'll know that they're coming. Exactly. I reckon we should take care of the the wogs. Look like the the beefiest of customers, so we should. Eliminate, like, cut off the head first. I like your thinking, boy. Boy, he's probably older he's than you. Man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm 150. <laughs> Nobody calls me boy. Boy. I've been making, I've been making arms since before you were an egg. <laughs> Could I check the other window around there? Oh, sure, sure, sure. If there's anything else in there. Yeah, absolutely. I'll check this one, I guess. I'll stand up on tippy toe. It, uh, yeah, it all um, leads to the same room, and this is the prayer room of the this church, the temple and pulpit. Sunlight. Does it look like we can lock that door. Mm. Well, this one. Uh, this, this one. one. Um, potentially, uh, it opens inwards to that room they're swinging around in. But just to explain this room that you're in first. Um, sunlight pours into this high vaulted chamber through four stained glass windows, which all depict uh, Mialiki and Lavender. So you see rising suns and beautiful woven sort of um, grassy like aesthetic that has all dimmed with age in this sort of run down little church, but it's still homely. Um, but beneath the windows are plain wooden benches for the elderly and infirm to sit on. But it's mostly empty in here. Um, and you can see this half open door, so you can see it's currently open at the moment. Hmm. As for if you could lock it, uh, difficult. Doesn't look like there's any, um, humans inside this building. No, no, there's no humans in there. Any trace of a human? No, except for, uh, the bedrolls and other humans. artifact facts hmm. that seem to be littered in here. Anything valuable? Uh, a holy symbol uh, from Twist's scan. Hmm. I like the ideas of going for the wargs. I think right, maybe we should go back. Let's do that. All right. So if you like to, if you are not planning to go in, please position yourself accordingly. At this point, you got to hop into the graveyard, actually, and that is what that build, that whole situation is over there. Um, okay. 
Yeah. Can I do a nature check to see uh, like how much I know about wargs and goblins? Like to see if I know how beefy they are because I have a plan <laughs> but that I wouldn't know the plan unless I knew that. Goblins and wargs are very common in terms of monsters. They are monster 101. They are your giant rat enemy and <laughs> you've decided nothing. to roll for that. So I'm going to tell you what you know. Nothing. No, 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 no. Check no, when, no, no, no. <laughs> when you not want to check like this, I'm going to tell you what you know. What you know is that goblins are master tacticians. They will outthink anything you have planned and will improvise in a matter of moments. There is no move you cannot make they have not got a trap for. And they Witty. are witting creatures. Though small, they will cut with deadly efficiency to your veins and have you bleed out and cut the tendons to your muscles. Furthermore, which, which character is saying this? Uh, that would be whoever rolled the nat, the <laughs> nat one. <laughs> yeah. okay. So oh, carrying I'm on, because I am not... Say. Carrying on, because I'm not done. <laughs> wargs are their muscle. Wargs are ferocious. Essentially, if a wolf and a wolf combined to have the leg strength of a horse with the ferocity of a gnarling, grizzling wolf frothing at the mouth. He's twitching slightly. He is going to hold focus. No one else is moving, but he's visibly twitching and touching his weapons. Okay. I, I, I pat him on the shoulder and I say, Auschwitz, Auschwitz, remember what I told you. Smashing is smashing is for evil beings, not for new friends. I pat him on his other <laughs> shoulder and I'm like, we're going to have some fun, me and you. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you have two very large shoulder angels. <laughs> I kind of come up behind them and I just say, <clears throat> the, uh, the workers, they are the the muscle here and the, the goblins are the brain. I say <laughs> we take out the brain quickly and then the, they cannot direct the muscle. They will be a bigger, harder fight, but if we kill the goblins quickly, then we will not have as many issues to deal with. Sonny, did you did you just say that like, the goblins were the brain? <laughs> More so than the wargs. Mm. Have no. you ever met a goblin before? No, have you? <laughs> I've met a few, and none of them were winning any, like, Nobel Peace Prizes. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Nobel Peace Prize? Yeah. <laughs> when you're a noble, and... Uh, you think someone to pieces. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> so what what I'll suggest is entering this building here, and it looks like this is a doorway where you can sneak up to the wargs, getting getting really close, and we can just rush in and rush in. a surprise. Uh, oh, no, so okay. uh, just to mention, that is not a doorway you, uh, you pointed to. It looks like it would uh, be, but well, it is not. It's just a random path leading up to a wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, it legit is. It legit is. However, there is a big boulder that has crashed in, opening up that corner to that building over here. Okay. Take that where is the, where is the door? Is there a door here? Um, you haven't got there to find out okay, yet, oh but I don't mind Did telling you. The boulder hole? Maybe we should assassinate these guys then, and then move on to the walks. Go orange. Orange is the nicer color. I can try doing that. Um, probably using the sound of the bell to mu to um, muffle the location. Uh, sure. Muffle the location. Sure, 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 sure. It's time for you guys to move, basically. Right. I say we're going through the boulder hole of that building. Don't know about you, lads. Yeah. All right. At least have, at least have a look through it. Yeah. Now then. Least, yeah. Okay. Let's have some cover. You're gonna stop now. No, you're, you're gonna stop. We'll stop. Well, you know what? You, you, okay, great. You move on anyway. Okay. You all come in at once. Um, what you see before you is um, a huge sack that seems to be lifted up by itself. And mm -hmm. while this sack is here, it is currently um, emptying out all unattached uh, metals, such as woks and larger. Uh, ladles and things and it's all emptying them into its overabundant Santa Claus like sack 
A moment yes. later, you see a pinkish gray hand, and you realize that it's not doing this by some magical means. It is, in fact, one goblin that's having a fun time looting. It's oh, taking... It's javelin. Straight to the javelin? Grabs one ready. All right, I one is ready. I javelin and I grab mine off my back. Yeah. Uh, all I'm six gonna, of you I'm are... Life-throwing axe. Yep, all six of you are primed and ready. Orchard <laughs> looks at Torland. Is it time? We can, we take care of this one quietly. Uh, you you know you notice that uh, you notice that they're just grabbing for a huge block of cheese as they notice you, and he just he just freezes. He throws a javelin. Cool. Roll to hit. Good Tolan. I I will consider this creature surprised because you are stealthy, so you have advantage to this check. Give me a javelin. All right, that that is that is a hit. No, it actually, wait, it's advantage. Um, Jesus, yeah, that that javelin's a hit, and yeah, it's it's dead. Between you, Sorry. you skewer this goblin into you know you just like <laughs> you, double team. You X Men Doomsday like put several metal stakes through this goblin as you just eviscerate it. As all it as it as it all it wanted was a block of cheese, and it's dead. <laughs> was that a javelin and a hand axe, just like yeah? It. I feel I feel like the javelin just like was that, was that coming from hey, both the dwarfs? Sunk, yeah, oh, right. sunk into the ground and like, like and then like died, and then like one second later, the axe just like. like I just look at both the dwarfs and I'm like, dead. I'm gonna like you guys. What you say, fuck goblins. <laughs> Well, can I dash forward and grab the the sack that the uh, goblin was carrying? Like dash, just to really it. make sure. Well, you will as soon as you put yourself here. And the first one to get here is going to get the sack. Ooh. I want to just run forward and make sure it didn't um, explode. <laughs> didn't, yeah, didn't like crash everywhere and make a loud a lot of noise. Well, check it was so exactly. overloaded that. It was like dragging across the ground. So when the goblin dies, the lid just sort of be, the 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 rim just sort of, kind of flops. Flops, yeah. Character. And and there's just a bit of a there's just you've lost your character to the darkness. My character's void. <laughs> oh, it's silly. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Time to reroll. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So first of all, this is your loot. We're beginning loot. So first of all. A block of cheese. Next up, several muffins. A cooked chicken. It's like cooked chicken right there. A frying pan, an iron pot, a bullseye lantern, two flasks of oil, a dented silver jug, and a cracked hourglass. What treasure? Yeah, what, what treasure indeed. I'll post it in roll 20 for anyone who cares. Go check Woods to pick his javelin up and he's very interested in the oil. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll, t I'll take the muffins. You're gonna oil yourself up. Aren't you, did you say you were shirtless? Oh, no. I'm just gonna like... <laughs> for oh, no. battle, you wanna be slippery for the fights to come. I never thought it. Oh no, he, he likes oil, that can burn. Oh... I'm taking the cooking utensils. Hmm. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I kind of ignore it and just head towards this door here. Yeah, so that door leads outside to the other side of the building. Can, can I, I check out this door? Yes, yeah, so I was going to say the same. Can I peek through that door somehow? You swing high, I'll swing low. Um, yeah. go, <laughs> just in passing, what might be worth mentioning that uh, you have um, come through what appears to be a kitchen. And uh, you come to uh, a dining room, uh, but this room is wrecked, uh, especially punctured by a giant rock that has punched through the roof. There and there is a door there, yes, but there wasn't a door here. Yeah, mm. there, there wasn't one there. Uh, Your plan was to go through yeah. that side and come up there for yeah, the wargs. All right, this is where we ambush the wargs. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. So, um, everything in here is wrecked by a giant boulder. Two smaller round tables and several chairs remain intact. 
resting on top of the table is a unlit oil lamp. Um, you, yeah, that thing is dead. Um, yeah, um, and that's it. Cool. I still say that we should go this way, flank the goblins, and out, to kill and uh, kill them quickly, and then move on to the walks. I say we split into two teams. Team one, take care of the warlocks. Team two, goblins. Okay. I like it. Come to me in on team goblin. Mm. Deal with the goblins. Team I'm taking team war. Yeah, I'm team going to yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's have let's have team war and goblin. Right. Yes. Me, me and the kobold. We will take the war the the goblins then. And nice. You are coming with us, my burned friend. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Good luck, Altrek. And uh, before we <laughs> before we uh, bust open the door and roll an issue of stuff, I just wanna I wanna offer my hands to Lannister and Wattle the Tortle. <laughs> <laughs> so I hold up my hands, my hands, both of you, and I say, form a circle, form a circle. <laughs> I do. I do. It. Yeah, I do. It. Yeah. I do. Hold hands, hold hands with each other, hold hands with each other. This is serious now. Okay. Right. Moradin, please bless this holy kick ass <laughs> yeah. we're about to have. Which Meanwhile, let us, let us we, strike through. We, strike we assume swift. they've already started. So <laughs> <laughs> we just burst through the door. Yeah, I like it. No, no, no. no, no, no I like it. I like it. Yeah, oh, you. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Yeah, you. Bless on you too. Yeah, do you get to benefit from bless as well? Uh, yeah, up to three creatures. I'm a creature, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I am a creature. I'm a fucking creature. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I like that they Amen. burst through without you. So I'll have uh, these guys. Uh, yeah, everybody roll me initiative. Yeah, everybody okay. roll me initiative right. now. Let's get the oh, turn order up. First. My first two rolls in this campaign have been a one and a two. <laughs> hey, we opened this campaign on a double crit. I think that's a. A good sign. And now we're paying the price. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm, this is why I'm going to become a divination wizard. <laughs> right then, to begin with, um, everything is surprised, so a surprise round will happen, which basically means everybody goes first. All right, so we skip the walks because they're going to be surprised. Mr. Wartle, you go first. Happening in the initiative order, uh, I've given them all separate turns. I just charge out and with my quarter staff beat a work in the head uh this one okay yes you can and you may so go right ahead my dude right yes <laughs> whoa that's an excellent hit so you just yeah. like burst out you kick out and you get the quarter staff leaning forward you bonk him right across the face as he's nomming on a dog and you do some great damage to him and Bonus action. Also, going with my claws. Your claws. Your 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 turtle claws. I love right. that turtle claws. Yes, you already bloody this. Oh no, actually, that's going. No, um. Ah, you have advantage because you are surprising, but I think that's only on the first attack. Uh, I don't. Know. Oh, with the rest of us. Would the rest of us get um, advantage? Yeah, it's yeah. on the first attack each. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Technically, it all happens simultaneously. It isn't actually in an order like. Yes. All right. First attack. So this second attack is actually going to be a miss. Um, ah, damn. Can you can you roll that one d4? Yes, um, you can. Now, or, yeah. Yeah, he oh. absolutely could roll that blessing and change the outcome. Just a flat d4. Wonderful. Uh, so that is actually going to ter make the difference as it happens. And then that becomes a hit. And after having bless done... Bless Moradin. Yeah, bless Moradin indeed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> nice. That's how you convert them. Now you're uh, getting it. <laughs> and with that, like, clawing strike, uh, you have already bloodied this walk by yourself, um, having him being thoroughly messed up. Such is the life of the soldier. Mm. Just uh, doing my job. Twist, it is now your turn. All right. I assume that from that distance, I can fire the shot right at that goblin. You can, yeah. Okay. Um, 
about the bell, does the bell is ringing at its high crescendos or is it just like pause for now at that moment? No, the bell continues to ring. Okay, then I will fire the shot and hope that the, the bell will muffles. Okay. My location. Yeah, very nice, very, yeah, nice. very nice. Very nice, Long bow incoming. That wow. is a that double was... nat one to oh. go. <laughs> So, I I don't utterly punish a nat one. I will punish when life gives you a one in four hundred chance of a double nat one. And that's why I like these two going together. I can't believe you. I can't believe you started with two crits and now you're on like. Yeah. Also, what are you doing with seventy nine arrows? You would be nothing but arrows. That's that's a bit incorrect. We'll work on that. However. Right now, I want you to roll me a D2, please. All right, so that's going to be Mr. Fire Genocide, as that's okay. point black range, so it makes sense. As you just, you know how it is, you line up the shot, and the arrow just trails off the bow and aims towards his butt. So that's going to be <laughs> nine... <laughs> He's got nine points. <laughs> we just hear a scream. Are they all right? <laughs> I hope they're alright. Oh, that's, that's why I put no, them in Goblin. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. It's fine, I'm just unconscious. You literally <laughs> shoot. Dead. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> this no. would. I only have this happen on a double nat one. Not a singular nat one, yeah, but no, a double nat yeah. one. Okay. There's gonna be some resentment <laughs> there. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Like standards, like level one. I was just there, like, like, I was just what? starting a fire in my hand, ready to throw it at the goblins, <laughs> and I just get shot in the back and just like, flop down like, yep. through the doorway. And, uh... Yeah, exactly. I assume that it hit your hemorrhoid and do uh, extensive damage. <laughs> wow. Like, when I fall, though, the uh, the fire on my hair, like, disappears. Like, yeah. Like a um, so, Twist, good round. Do you move? Fire another round. <laughs> Okay, um, Lannister, it's your turn now. You're okay. oblivious to the madness going on over there. We don't know what happened over there, do we? We just hear the scream. <laughs> I guess, I guess. <laughs> no, I ain't even gonna bother. I'm just gonna run straight down here and then baseball bat in with my uh, warhammer. Yeah, right around the face. I like it. Absolute beast club. <laughs> that oh, it's advantage because uh, surprise round. So that is a hit. Excellent! Ooh, you yes. crush that skull and kill the warg. Teeth just shattering everywhere. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Teeth fly from the gums. All trick. It's it's your turn. You're a little <laughs> bit afraid of twist, perhaps. Ah. Or maybe they were that spy all along. How far can we get to these goblins? <laughs> Uh, your dwarf has 25 feet movement speed, and uh, these cob these these thingies are 55 feet away. But you can travel there, 20 feet, and there, 30. So that's uh, 50 that feet of movement. You can throw your javelin. Yeah, you can throw javelins, but you're gonna move out for that first. Just gonna have to uh, climb over it, money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to rage. Oh. <gasps> He absolutely believes that goblins are the ultimate evil after that description earlier on. Are you going to reach the He's going to dash right in the face and his warhammer is drawn, screaming to get attention. I will fucking kill you all! Nice, excellent. Um, yes, yes, 25 feet movement at dash, 50 feet. I will allow that, that's all good. I wouldn't have used your rage though because. Oh, uh, he's fine, you know, he's nothing he's to worry fine. about. <laughs> He's done this a hundred times. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's gonna run out before. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he's gonna die a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> no, but he's uh, just I'd... wasted a point of rage. Yeah. Because now he's not gonna get, he hasn't got to attack, and they're not gonna like, attack him in this round, so mm. he's not gonna take or deal damage, so his rage will end at the beginning of his next turn. Well, they're gonna uh, attack him. Not a game turn. Yeah, basically, he's initiated a raid. He's not attacked before the beginning of his next turn. If he is attacked, or if it's that, or before the end of his next turn. Let's clarify. 
concast. It ends early if you are not unconscious, or if you end if your turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature since oh. your last turn. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. That's mm. fine. Okay. I start. Add money. Uh, Make me a death saving foe, death. please. Hey, oh, that's a pass. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh I God. was, I was interested in spicing this up and seeing you nat one, but that would be cool. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Tolan. Better fucking stabilize me. Tolan uh, whips out his warhammer, the Maker's Mark. Yeah. And he charges for glory. Yeah. Uh, let me. I guess I'll just attack with my warhammer. Yeah. Uh, yep. Um, Does that hit? No, even with okay, advantage. I'll use, my, I'll use my bless though. Yes, very nice. Yes, very oh, nice. 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 Moradin gives you that edge to plant your warhammer into this creature's shoulders and neck. And uh, yeah, you do a good sum of damage to him, for sure. And um, the smashing head of my hammer uh, is it, it's got like the... It's embossed with the... The symbol of my crafting clan, and it makes like the imprint. A, yeah, exactly. Imprints my crafting clan in on this uh, world. <laughs> Tricky with his fur, but sure. I like okay, the concept. Well, <laughs> under his fur, that's hey. Happening. It's gonna look better when I hit. If you really want to get serious with that, get the uh, heat weapon uh, spell with your forged domain, and then you'll brand it into them. <laughs> I just out of under my breath. Nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, it is that walk's go, and uh, we are now done with the uh, sneak round. So, well, I can take it. <laughs> he is going to go for Mister Tolland first. He's going to um, kind of like go to this position, and uh, he's going to go with the old attack. He's going to go with a bite. Um, that's a. Yeah, that's a miss. Pretty sure you got heavy armor. I've got chainmail and yeah. my shield is up. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a, a chance. His, uh, his teeth just... His face just bashes against the shield. No problem. Mr. Wartle, it's your, it's your turn now. Right. I'm just going to uh, attack the other, the other work. Mm -hmm. The same way I did, did the other. In the face. In his stupid face. With... My claws, too. Yeah, those are both hits. You, again, do a massive sum of damage, utterly whiplashing this creature in your mighty monk-like uh, ways, as you do just utterly unleash hell upon him with your, your turtle claws. And that's a good round. Twists. <laughs> it's over to you. <laughs> now, oh, I will tell you... Now, now, Twist... <laughs> Now, Twist, between your your dwarf friend, the boulder, and this building, these two creatures now have full cover. Or check the rest of it. Yes, uh, first thing first, I like to free, uh, use a free action to screen at that arrow that was stuck to, uh, <laughs> to uh, the Ganashi's butt and contemplating whenever he should pull out and to recycle his arrow that <laughs> 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 I would like. Do you want to? I want you to give me a medicine check, please. <laughs> Don't fucking kill him. <laughs> give blue flower, me. red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. <laughs> blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. You believe you can totally just take this arrow out of him? No problem at all. The twist is like is gonna look, but uh, her her natural good is gonna be like nah. <laughs> but she she did contemplate it. Oh, go on! It will only do one hit point of damage, giving no, him one more failure. Process. Yeah, it'll fail automatically. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've told Twist that they can totally take the arrow, and they've they've chosen not to risk it because they are hoarding seventy nine for some reason. Some wisdom. No, isn't that like I, I used the money that I got to buy like an extra? Yeah, but you should only be able to carry 20 at a time. I have two quiver, I think one on the back, one on the side, so the highest would be 40. Yeah, I want you to imagine part. carrying four babies <laughs> attached to your body. 
That's what that's what you have in arrows. <laughs> Just to clarify. Okay? Uh, you are shuffling okay. with these. Okay. Now um, so, um Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, You've got good. more movement, I, I think. Movement, I yeah. Yeah, you see the wall. That you do not see him because of the building. Yeah, I think I will go for the walk then. Yeah. On the side, I do not see the walk, but I see the walk. The walk is the best bet. Go ahead, roll that um, shot. That is a hit, and you just like snapshot him right across his neck, and he crumples in a spastic. Shivering like state as you end his life. Well done, that's two. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone remember that fire gun I see we had? <laughs> no. <laughs> Forgot all about him. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go and like, please help my friends here. The goblins got him. <laughs> <laughs> Those damn goblins. Wow. Okay, <laughs> nice. Lannister, it's your turn. Right, cool. Um, <clears throat> do you reckon I could hit him with a javelin from here? It's 30 to 100 and something feet. Could I, re could I make that? What, well, say 30 to 120? Okay, so uh, before 30 feet, uh, a javelin throw is made at disadvantage. Uh, made normally after 30 feet, but within 120, it's rolled at disadvantage. So... You could hit him, but you're rolling at disadvantage. And you're okay, skimming no, that choice. boulder. You've got your uh, bl Moradin blessing on you. Yeah, I'll go for the javelin. Nice. Excellent. Oh, what a disadvantage, Travis. So, um... Do I use the blessing? Can I use the blessing? Um, that make any you difference? can use the blessing if you want to. How do I do that? Uh, just uh, roll me a d4. Yeah. And I'll mark the uh, the lightning bolt off your token. Oh. So that will not be enough to break their AC. And that javelin okay. misses their tiny little forms. Anyway, there is a javelin that's missed near that uh, little goblin. Um, and it is now over to the goblin's turn. Beginning with this one here. And he's simply going to step up to this angry dwarf dude. He's going to just uh, try and look tough as best he can. Takes out a little scimitar and uh, he goes to try and strike him. Uh, I believe that is a miss. <laughs> and that's his turn. <clears throat> Old Trick, Iron Rort, now it is your turn. Old Trick is going to move ever so slightly, jump into the side of the goblin to here, and he's going to swing his Warhammer two handed. Screaming like a mania. So an attack action, ah! right? Absolutely. Alright, that will be one attack of opportunity as you leave this little goblin down here's threatened squares. That will be a miss. Alright, go with your attack, or trick. Oh, magnificent. Why did you have to sneak attack? I don't understand. However, you are going to hit and you are going to plant this goblin into the ground plant him <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and you seem to do so upon the wreckage of uh, some scarecrows that used to reside here anyway uh, your rage stays up because you've hit something so you're good alright then after that it is this creature's go uh, this one he goes to here, but he has a little short bow on hand, and he's going to try and fire it at you. <laughs> he rolls a 23 and does 7 points of damage to you, Ultric. It's not magical, so that 7 is halved to uh, 3.5, rounded down for damage, which is 3. So you take 3 points of damage. He's down to 12. Okay, thank you, thank you. And then he backs up a little bit more. Alright, <clears throat> next up. Uh, some activity is seen over there, so these little uh, gobbos start 
making a move. Right, yes, but this one down here is going to make a very ambitious shot over to Mr. Paladin. So, this is a oh. short bow attack, but... He's got some balls on him. He has got some balls on him. He only has a 12, so... I don't know what he thought he was going to accomplish, but he thought, you know, try his best. I know, I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it falls so <laughs> short of you. Like, it doesn't even, like, ping to the side. It just goes to the floor and starts skidding. And Manny, that's one <laughs> failure to you. Now the I... question is, do I go and help him? Or <laughs> do I respect the fiction that Torland has no idea what happened to the fire wizard? You have no idea what You have to not the one. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Twist said a goblin got him. What I'll do, well, no. Yeah, basically. So what yeah. I'll do, what I'll do is, uh, can I roll an insight check on Twist? Twist and did, oh, oh, what, you think Twist is lying? On... No, wait, I'll... Torland is going to see whether he believes that a goblin hit a Mandy. <laughs> and if he believes it, then a uh, wizard won't need his help. Okay, let's see it. You're giving uh, yourself with some trouble here, Wait, no, 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 I, I messed up, I messed up, didn't I? So, <laughs> Why? Goblin got him. No, no, because he said a goblin got him, right? So Yeah, a goblin, yeah. Yeah, there was oh, no need okay. for that check. No, sorry, I messed Twist up. Twist said a goblin got him. Yeah, all right. And do, so do I believe him? Um, That's up to you, dude. You don't need to make a roll. You can just decide for yourself. <laughs> I guess I'll go and go over. I can dash. I can go 25 feet at a time, so I'll go here first. Yeah. Um... <laughs> And then the same over here. <laughs> I do like there's one round to have the and opportunity of the, him uh, not wanting, and then yeah, he will based, die. Based on the angle of the arrow, does it look like a goblin got him? <laughs> um, I I personally keep to the possibility it looks like he got shot across both butt cheeks. Um, oh, man, they're like pinched together. Like yeah, yeah, they're like, they're like a, skewered. Like yes. Oh, man. With How one does arrow. How bad does it look? <laughs> <laughs> I just say, well, maybe don't sit down for a, few, a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh. No, but it is it is rather nasty. And um, there's a little thing. on poison tipped arrows because then I'll have to suck out the poison. <laughs> <laughs> and engraved across it, it says twist. No. Oh, right. No, it doesn't. Um. Wartle is 80 out of 80 here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, they've numbered every arrow. So this is yeah. arrow number this 78. Is, it's like in the first scene of Deadpool. Like, ah, uh, yeah. Let's count them down. <laughs> Mr. Wartle, it's your turn. Uh, as well, seeing people, well, seeing as goblins are shooting at us, uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna dash over here. Wait, oh, that's. Yeah, I'm going to dash order. You have a crazy situation, because I think a turtle's movement speed is like 20. And then... It's 30? It's 30, oh, all right, okay. Never mind then. And then you'll get an armored movement, so ignore me, ignore me. Right. I'm uh, just going to go over here. All right, I... yeah. There. Yeah, no problem. And no. can I ready, ready an action? action? Um, Could you move there all in one turn? Did you have to dash? No, I don't have to. Alright then. Wait. Is dashing oh, an extra 30 feet? Uh, yes. Dash is whatever your movement speed is. Doubles. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, just how far did you get to there? Is that you know? Is that your movement? Yeah, okay. Uh, What's your ready or... action? You can do this. What's your ready right. action? And if I see anything going, as I mean, if I see a goblin clone coming out of cover, I'll try to attack with a dart. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll allow that. No problem. And that's my turn. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, then. Twist, it's your turn. Okay. I think that this turn I should be able to fire at him. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um. So, as we can see, that's definitely within. But that's going to be a miss. Ooh. And Twist gonna use reaction to curse in Draconic. Yeah, nice. Uh, the goblin just looks very confused, and he gives like a an upturned, no, a downturned gasp of a 
expression that doesn't make any sense. He's just so confused. Um, Kirby or Lannister, it's your turn. Right, cool. I'm hey, just going to go sh straight down for that other Jeez. goblin. That was 60 feet was there, wasn't it? Mm. And they, they know we're here, don't they? These yeah. Ones. Yeah, yeah, these ones. I'm know. just gonna start slapping my hammer and my shield, roaring like. Yeah, like damn. Absolutely mad. You're mad. I think. I'm mad. He shot me with an arrow and missed. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Nice. Lucky it won't twist. <laughs> no, very nice. Very very nice. It's Ultrick's turn. Hey, Ultrick using his free action, holds his hammer. Blood and brains coating it. Yes. In the sky. Other hand gives the goblin the finger who shot it. <laughs> yeah. Races over and jumps over the fence. Yeah. Gets right in his face and <laughs> swings. Yes, don't miss. Don't miss now. Don't that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, yeah. You, yet again, plant the seed that is a goblin into the ground. And one day he will grow into another goblin. <laughs> I've got to say, that is the best death like description I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Would that actually get to all advantage, by the way? The second one, because I'm in rage. That's a strength check, isn't it? No, there's there's no advantage to attacking while raging. It's disadvan oh. It's uh, it's half damage when you're attacked. That's the main key of uh, rage. Okay. Reckless attack is what you're looking at getting and for your you get, uh, advantage. You do get extra damage for when you are raging. Yes, okay. yes. So um, you need to remember to when you are in rage. I think at the moment it's only like a plus one or something. No, nah, it's a plus two when he starts off. Uh, but yeah, you uh, we can work on adding that in. Um, okay. So yeah, you guys have... Be I mean, between Ortric and between the hammer and shield... Um, Dragonborn, you guys have begun the screaming and the swearing and the noises and the... Uh... I did think that. We kind of diverted from our sneak attack. <laughs> yes, um, yes. It will always end like this. <laughs> no, no, you guys started off very strong. Uh, you, you've, you've been sneaky long enough. Um, given everybody's vantage points, I... After I'm slamming my shield in there, I think I just think to myself, shit. <laughs> I wish you said, oh, and I think to uh, myself, what a wonderful oh. world. <laughs> What's that? Can or check move again after attacking? You want to do a check after attacking? What's uh... No, I mean, can he move again after attacking? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If he has the movement, he can. He only moves slighter now. You've got a. Can he get to about there and just take a scope of surroundings? Yeah, totally. So yeah, from the, from this side of the uh, from this side of everything, everything seems pretty much uh, cleared out from what you can tell. Okay. Uh, that all having been dealt with, we have this pin down kobold, uh, goblin rather, not kobold. Uh, you are there. So, he knows what's up. He's going to take the dodge action, and he's going to move to here. You will get to... He does trigger your reaction, and uh, you will try to snipe him at uh, this sort of position with your darts. So, that may be at disadvantage, I'm not sure, but uh, give me your attack, please, um, Mr. Monk. Right. All right, so that would have been made at disadvantage, and um, you, just, you haven't used your bless yet, have you? No, yeah, yeah I, I, pretty... I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah he hasn't got his mark anymore. Uh, so that is going to be a miss, though. You ca you just by a fraction of a hair, you miss him. Yeah. Not by. It's too small. Yeah, it's just... a one-time thing, is it? It's. <laughs> it is a one. Minute. It is a. No, you can no, use no. it as many times as you want in that minute. Yeah, so it's just concentration. No, no. What? no, I don't think that's right. No, that's it's that's not right for a cantrip. Sure <laughs> Oh, for I get trip. one. I give you one d4, and you have a minute to use it. And if you don't use it in that minute, it goes away. Yeah, no yeah. That that seems accurate. It is a it's cantrip. Not a cantrip, is it? It is no, cantrip. It's a spell. It's no, a first no. level spell. First oh, level spell. Bless. Oh, it's, shit. You I'm sorry. Up, it, you bless three creatures of your choice. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw, it can add a d one d4 to it. Oh, I'm it's, sorry. I'm thinking never. of guidance. Yeah, I, 
I yes. say to it, oh, I, d I don't have guidance. No, guidance is a spell as well because that's paladins. It's they a... don't get cantrips. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm. It's so many concentration spells. though. Okay. Yeah, so many spells. Uh, free creatures. Whenever it makes attack or saving throws. Uh -huh. Well, I can uh, I can just put it in the chat right now. Uh, whenever yes. target makes an attack roll or saving throw, the target can roll the d4. Honestly, I think actually you do keep that D4 going. So I'm sorry yeah, it's, I it's, took it it's off. Up for the minute or until his concentration ends. Yeah, I well. think. Yeah, I think I have been You're doing. You're all still blessed. Yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. Yeah, I I have been dealing with blessed wrong in my life. I I think this this is the correct uh, ruling. That's more powerful than I thought. Yeah, me too. Um, where is your person? Where's there's all three? Uh, Amanda. Yeah. It's a shame you didn't do. Uh, so add money with the uh... his... Wartle needs to roll his d4 to see if he hits the goblin. Yeah, Wartle okay. can do a d4 now. Yeah, totally. Right. You're gonna have to roll max. I'll tell you that. No, you were just a bit too shy. You were still so I... close. Close. Yeah. No, that's all fine. Um... You have much to learn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Said that. Who knows? Any any sensei, any Yoda, any Yukue, anybody. Yeah, any any kind of great martial master. <laughs> All right then. So uh, this little goblin, he he looks he looks like he's got some steely nuts to him. So he's staring you down. A runner. Literally, it's like a transplant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. No, that's a miss. That's a miss. He, he tried to short bow you again, but it did hit you. It just dinged off the armor. Um, let's see. He is brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in another life, maybe you guys could have been bros, you know? <laughs> 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 but he, he backs up. But he keeps his eye on you. He's watching your approach, and he's doing the like. He's very focused for a goblin. I almost respect him. Yes, almost, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Mr. Monk, over towards <clears throat> this watchtower, the door opens up, and from there, uh, oh, the shit. goblin kind of like keeps to his uh, measure of cover uh, a bit. Whoop! There we go. He keeps to his cover, and he's he's rocking the short bow. He's going after you. Oh, he was he had a crit in there, but you got hit by the twenty-one, and you are dealt three points of damage. Three whole points of damage. Not that bad. Hmm. Anyway, now it is Torlin's go. I take it oh, you right. have spared the dying? I have spared the dying. Will that wake him up? No, but it will stabilize him. You could heal him yeah, and I've get got, him right up, but... I've got cure wounds. Um, but if I, I'm thinking if, we, if we've got goblins popping out of watchtowers, we might need a wizard. So you might. I'm going to use my last spell slot. And oh! Oh! <clears throat> I've got All two right. spell slots. I cast Bless. Yeah. And now I'm casting Cure Wounds. Yeah. Oh. You basically just pull the arrow through his ass cheeks and oh, no, no, no. Okay. you do enough <laughs> healing to seal up the it's ass. Like... I don't know. I just kind of like massage his buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up. I, I, give them, I give them two points of, hit, points of health to each buttock. <laughs> Can I use my uh, reaction when I wake up just to burn the arrow away? Uh, <laughs> sure. Get yeah. Rid of all evidence. <laughs> you you <laughs> will have a scar there, perhaps. You do you do sadly have now three buttholes technically. <laughs> technically. Oh no. All right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna waddle over. To... My work is done. I have my roped him. <laughs> At money, you don't see any goblins nearby. You do see a, a little pink kobold minding their own business, totally <laughs> having their back to you after they put you down, looking like they didn't just do what they just did to you. You know? Completely oblivious. Yes. <laughs> Not even slightly guilty. They just, they moved on. They were moved on the moment they pinned you. Are you still going on about that? The arrow and the pen thing? <laughs> I, um, use my action, uh, my free action to, uh, op like, open my cloak so Ash can come out. Yeah, totally. By all means. 
Um, oh, I, hey, I did it as well, but ah, we both deleted. Oh my god! You delete yours. No, I deleted yours. Oh god. Okay. Um, can I just move him on my turn rather than have yeah. two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use his action to help me so I get advantage. Uh, the way he's going to help me is he is going to fly in the kobold's face while I cast fireball. <laughs> Allow me. Um, if we put that to the back and then we put him right over the face. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, okay. So, um, Twist, uh, you are minding your own business, keeping a little eye out to people, and all of a sudden... You're, I actually want you to give me a constitution saving throw right now, please. Uh, as um, your eyes start to sting in a haze of ashy smoke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So you don't, like, go prone. You don't get blinded. You're just you're kind of... Oh, you're kind of just all <laughs> fogged up. And, uh, and Manny, why don't you do what you... You throw his arm up. He's done. <laughs> what, what, oh, oh, yeah, that's a that's a hit. Um, are kobolds resistant to fire at any chance? Oh, you actually did it. You went for that. <laughs> no, I didn't roll very much. It's fine. Yeah. Um, twist. Are you resistant to fire? I wish. I take two damage. You take two damage as the backside of you is. Mostly, like, impacted by a concussive blast of fire, and then it tinges to your pink scales as this fireball comes behind you. Uh, and then Ash is just gonna fly back to me. Yeah. Um, and then I just kind of just hiss under my breath. Now we're even. Do <laughs> That's mathematically incorrect. <laughs> you seven HP. <laughs> yep. I love that. I don't need co uh, goblins to kill you guys now. This is yeah. marvelous. <laughs> okay, back to uh, actual things. Um, yeah, so out from this building, which will be found right near uh, Mr. Paladin, another goblin comes out. Oh, he peeks out. He's going to do another short bow on him. That's a miss. But he's then going to Tuck back into the building and go out of your sight. Oh, you sneaky bastard. Yes. That's his turn. Mr. Wartle, it's your turn now. Right. Well, the bow hurt, and I don't want to get any more arrows in me. I'm going to move over here. And Smart. Throw a dart at the, the goblin that shot me. Uh, now, darts was 20 to 60 feet. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. That's like the edge of your possible vision, but uh, I'll allow yeah. it. This will be made at disadvantage, and he has a lot of cover. In fact, he has basically almost full cover. So this may not. Mm. This may be a waste of a shot. But you do have bless. You do have bless. Oh yeah. You have bless. I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're gonna need that bless. All right. That's a lot of cover. <laughs> it is a lot of cover. Uh, no, unfortunately. Damn. That was a great roll. It's a caught in the door frame where you can just see his eyes kind of peeking in between. You're just millimeters off, you know. It was a very Stupid. difficult shot. Ah. Close enough. Yes, no, that was a that was a good shot. And you're in cover now too. Yep. Alright, so That's my turn. Yes. Uh, so, other things happen. <laughs> that is... is Mugger, cool. yes? That's good enough. Yes, Lannister, it is over to you. Uh, I'm caught in two minds, because if I feel like if I go down that road, I'm going to be there alone, and I'm just going to get ambushed to mm. shit. Yeah, there's a bit of that going on. Um, I think I'm going to go to the... Total. I'm going to go there, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna javelin that. That um, can I javelin that goblin? That's pretty far. Um, yes, yeah, pretty, pretty far, far and it? he's got all that cover going for him. Uh, 
I might just dash forward another 30 feet then. Okay. On the way, I look at uh, the fire Ganassi and just say, Nice of you to show up! <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah, I'm I, just, I just yell, he had an arrow in his jack <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> Twist, it's over to you. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> it doesn't even care, they got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Twist is inside, he's like, I deserve this. <laughs> Cobalt, got kobolds are used to being like the underdogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Now, uh, the longbow say is 160, so I can take oh. a shot on that goblins over there. Right? Yeah, you can. Ooh, yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. Go on and make that shot. Really impressed me now. <laughs> Go that's on. Too bad. Oh yeah, no. Um, yeah, and you weren't blessed either. No, that's that's a miss. But it was a good shot. All trick. It's your turn, my dude. Ah, he actually cannot see where the combat is, so his free action will quickly shout to all the nearby. Ah, where is the enemies? Hmm. Or would that dispel rage? Um. By the end of your turn, if you are not damaged or have hurt something, your rage ends. Can he do a free action to talk to his party members while in rage? What's that? Can he do a free action to talk to his party members while still in rage? Yeah, totally. Though it's usually limited to the Batman style. Where is she? Where are they? Where is Goblin? Torland was running south, so he would have seen... Uh, the dragonborn running the east. So he points uh, like that way. And I say, ah. in y yonder! He's already running. <laughs> and yeah, he's just gone. Yep. No worries. He is about there. Not quite. Just barely in front of him, I'd say. Yep. All cool. Um, and that's more or less his... What's that? Is he in the open? Uh, he's in the open where anything from these angles are <laughs> concerned. Um, but from these angles, he's in cover. I just say, welcome to the front lines. Yeah, yeah. Welcome! welcome. To the front lines. <laughs> <laughs> so much enthusiasm around here. Okay, yes. So, uh... This little goblin down here, he likes his cover, he likes his position. Um, you're actually the best shot when he like peeks out, so you make the most sense to go for. So he's going to peek out, try an ambitious short bow attack. Oh! Uh, it's disadvantage. Torland! Is still raging? You're, yes, he's raging, yes. and you are hit with a 20. You get four points of damage, half to two, Ooh. but importantly, your rage continues. And he Excellent. gets back into cover. <laughs> so he has two arrows in his chest. Yes. Oh, I'm being angry. I love it. I can't oh, get enough. All the time. He yeah. fucking like, whips the arrows around like nipple tassels. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Remind me not to fuck off that dwarf. <laughs> so he's just going to try at you as well with a disadvantage shot. Yeah, and that's going to be a miss. All trick. Could you give me a perception check, please? Yeah. Oh, do you have a glass eye? I do. Yeah, you got the magic uh, eye. We do, yes. Um, I will let you make this perception check with a plus one. What? <laughs> well, looks like you didn't need it. Um, <laughs> no. Goblins? Uh, Where's the goblins? Well, over <laughs> towards the windmill... You saw a little creature scurry by, trying to slip by, but no, you spotted them, uh, and you know that they're taking cover behind this boulder. Now, this uh, goblin, he uh, gets to the door, he closes it up, and he uh, you hear some sort of scuffle going on, so he may be doing locks or whatnot, and uh, 
Yeah, he basically just seals himself off, essentially. Uh, free action. Yeah. Ah, windmill. Things. Kill. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but after that, Goblin also uh, holds himself up. Uh, this one. Uh, he will close himself off. And then he will go to the top of that tower. And he will just like crouch down and try to peek over his, his little grubby nose peering over the ledge as he's looking at everybody trying to charge him down. Toland, it's your go. Okay. Um, <laughs> just checking a cantrip. Sacred Wait. Flame? I hope. Uh, no. no. Oh. I don't have Sacred Flame. <gasps> um... What? Oh, you're in trouble, Mr. Cleric. What? What's Sacred Flame? Deck saving throw 1d8 or nothing, but it's the bread and butter of a cleric DPS. Oh, I just picked what I wanted. Uh, That's oh, fair. I chose... I was just looking because I chose Toll the Dead. Uh, ah, which is a sixty foot range. Ah, okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh, I can move twenty five feet to start with. Yeah. So I guess I'll go here. Yeah. Is um is the um is the bell still still ringing? The bell is still ringing. Cool. That means we can ignore them for now. <laughs> so that range. I, I reckon I've got that goblin in the watchtower. Cool. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna dash then. Okay. I'll keep moving. I'll move to there. Can you assume that we are listening for the bell and let, just let yeah, the it, stops? Yeah, it's so loud that enough that if it, if it stops, you will be notified, sure. Okay. Right. All right. Were the, were the Ganassi screams muffled within the air? No, no. It's, it's not that. <laughs> it's not that bad a situation. Uh, the Ganassi can scream and... You know, it, it's a case that those goblins are not going to be able to hear you because they're getting all of the church bell ring, you know. Some other noises yeah. are drowned out while you guys are closer to where new noises are being made. I'm going... Ooh. You're skimming that boulder, but it's still a clearer shot. Go for it. happened yet <laughs> try again oh yeah whoa I, it wasn't supposed to be an advantage it's a 20 yeah there wasn't meant to be an advantage on either of those so yeah it um, will be a 20 yeah um that's a hit that's a hit Ooh, yes that's yes you crisp and you curl his skin you de-hair this goblin as he screeches in agony as he arrives there his calm composure ruined as uh, you mess him up but he still seems to survive by a whisker yeah but he's in utter agony you know he will never feel pain like this ever again hopefully <laughs> uh, this one peeks out Right, he peeks out, measures who he can fire at. No dice, barely any dice. So he's going to, he's going to move out a bit more. There we go. Yes, over to all trick. <laughs> Sorry, there's Torland right there. I didn't yeah, see him right. because for other reasons. Rushing over. Yeah, so I didn't see Torland. Um, I have UI stuff you can't see that covered him. Yeah, he's going to make a shot against Torland. That is a 23. Oh, that's going to hit. And that will be it's 7 points of damage to Torland. Cool. Mm. 7, did you say? Cool. Yeah, um, 7. I was still alive. I was still alive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then he's time. going to... Let's see. Oh, I made him a drawing. That's why I advanced and took that. There we go. Uh, so five feet, and then he's going to move. Yeah, twenty feet to there. Yeah. All right, Mister Wartle, it's your turn now. Right. Uh, hmm. Should I storm past you or go somewhere else? Uh, no, I think I think uh, the paladin has the goblin under control. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna help the other guys. Uh, I'm gonna dash. Or there. Okay. Uh, or, or here. 
Now, keep in mind, you got to measure like this. Yeah, around the building. Uh, unless you just like Assassin's Creed, just like... Yeah. If you want to do it. Assassin's Creed, you can give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> no, no. Do it. I, 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 I can make it. Still. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. around. Okay, that's cool. You get to there, no problem. All right, then. Um, so, now that your turn is finished, uh, from this boulder... Oh, shit. Another little goblin. That They're has... fucking everywhere. They are everywhere. They what are playing. They're now... not boulders. They're eggs. <laughs> so much for sneak attack. Mm. <laughs> now, <laughs> unless we took out that wargs. Yeah. Sneak attack an army. <laughs> He's gonna go to here. This is still sort of a half cover shot. Oh, he crits. But ah. so you get the grand immense total sum of five hit points, which puts you to one. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah. Might need to rethink our strategy. Mm. Yeah. Then he just like moves over to here. That's his, their turn. Lannister, it's your turn. Right. I am gonna go for the goblin. Um, is it up up the top? Did you say? Yeah, he's on the top of this watchtower now. Can I get him with a javelin? Yeah, you could try. Yeah. Cool. I'll go for that. Might, might really surprise me with a crit or something high. Come on. Oh. 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 Almost. Oh. Bless. Oh. Bless. oh, yes, you do have bless. Use a bless. Roll for you. Actually, you know what? No, you don't need to use that bless. Um, that is a hit. And when he comes up, you utterly take him in his shoulder, which to anybody else would just be like a a bad hit to the arm, but for a goblin, that's half his chest. And he absolutely is, like, bleeding there as he, like, slumps up and you can hear him funk back into the, like, uh, little area behind this little bit of positioning. Um, is he dead? That's a good question. Although, I'm not sure. Hmm. But you do a great sum of damage to him. Okay. All right, is that your turn? That's yes, yeah, my turn. Yeah. All right, Twist, it's your turn. I move right there. That should give me to the shot that the one that is still crispy. Mm. Medium well done, so might as well make him stay there. Oh. Go on, Twist. Twist, give me that short bow hit, please. Or oh, that long bow hit. That is a hit, and you pike him to the stonework as he dies and bleeds out in black oh. ichor. Yeah, look like this town have a new scarecrow. Yep, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. All right, all trick. It's your turn. Uh, my plans have changed. You killed my target, and fair play too. Or all trick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, uh, he is going to move up here and put his warhammer slung with goblin brains over his back and withdraw a javelin and chuck it at pretty boy over here. He's <laughs> <his sight. laughs> Probably the only one that calls a goblin a pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Yeah, go for it. Rah! <laughs> Excellent. Let's see that more. You're lucky. Ah, wonderful. Yes, that is a hit. And you're lucky you declared Javelin. Um, <laughs> that is a hit. And yet again, you guys have a talent for almost killing goblins. Just leaving them with enough life. You do not. Oh, yes, yes, you do. Well done. You kill that goblin. As the weight behind that yeah. spear drops him and plants him to the ground. Uh, can he move? No, that would be his full vegetable. Can't dash up. Yeah, Indeed. Right. That is his full turn. Yep, that's his turn. Okay. Now, given that you're here. Yeah, yeah you're close enough. Another goblin appears oh, behind the boulder. Yeah, man. 
I mean, I want to tell you that there's there's another goblin yet to be found. In fact, there's more goblins yet to be found. I, I want to I want to tell you that. No, never, Hang on. Thirteen total. Yeah. Tell us that. Yeah, there are thirteen total. So you know how many to keep track of. That's true. Yeah. I haven't been I haven't been counting very. Much. Yeah, <laughs> I figure. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just thought we had everyone now. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were. I guess not. I thought <laughs> you'd leave them on the map and like just put an X through them so that we knew they were dead. I didn't realize ah. they were being deleted. That would have been count them for the that would have been smarter of me, but I figure yeah, uh, it's like tripping over those there. corpses. I can't bring them back now easily. I'm sorry. Yeah, but no, 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 that's fine. For the future, for the future. Then, like, sometimes we can use like dead bodies for yeah. Stuff. If you if you're a team that appreciates that, I'll I'll leave them on there for you. I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Help for thrown weapons to collect them. Oh, um, the there's a simple rule for that, and that is you collect up half of the ammunition you spend in such a way. You use four arrows, you can collect two. You use two javelins, you can collect one. Right. That's how it goes around ammunition. Anyway, that short bow is a miss, and that goblin tucks back in. Yes. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Okay. Um. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. mm -mm. Alright, so that little dude. He's gonna. He's gonna go there. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Mm. Uh, this dude. So you're you're getting a lot of firepower focused on you right now, uh, Mr. Turtle. What's your AC? Your AC is uh, 17. 17. Yeah, and yeah. You, they've got to like do 20s and or plus, really. Don't they have, full, don't they have full cover uh, from that side? Uh, yeah, let's fix that. Uh, he's gonna come up right to you, and he's gonna ah. he's gonna scimitar you. Oh, he got an 18! Alright. Yes. Mr. Monk, you go down. I am down. Yes. You had, this, you had the healing kit. I don't oh, know. No. no. Somebody has a healing kit. We've got a cleric anyway that knows Spare the Dying. We don't really need a healing kit. Yeah, that's fair. Well, you need it when the cleric is down. <laughs> yeah, that's well, the dilemma. I've only, got, I've only got like 25 feet movement. so. Yeah. Can the paladin heal people yet? Yeah, you can okay, do lay on hands. hands yeah. uh, right, speaking cool. of Mr. Paladin, all it takes to take somebody unconscious back to being stable and conscious is one hit point of your lay on hands. So you can okay, cool. do a cure wounds to bring somebody up five times if you like. Cool. Hmm. All right. So hmm. this little goblin went to market. He went over here uh, in this direction and he took a shot. <sighs> I've got boulders in between me and him. Just Hang wanna on. say. Just wanna <laughs> check this because uh, he 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 all alone. That goblin would like to take that opportunity. Mm, let's just correct that. There we go. Yeah, that's a good. That's a. That's a good place. That's a good place. That's a good place. Yes, he's going to short bow you, Mister Cleric. With a twelve. More didn't protect me. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll yeah. Be yeah, you do. So no chance there. <laughs> That made you cleanse there with a bit more of protection. Um, this little goblin, you're not sure what happens. Um, you're not sure what you are hearing, um, Mr. Paladin, but you're hearing a scuffle. Now you're getting me worried. Yes, you're hearing a scuffle of some kind. Um, make me a perception check. Okay. Mm. No, you just hear a scuffle and you can't make heads or tails of it. Okay. Anyway. I'm cool with that. Torland, it's your go. Cool. I'm gonna I can take cover behind this boulder, right? Totally. Cool. Um I'm gonna do that. And um looking at the <gasps> goblin that just fired at me, I'm going to uh, and the bells of the church are tolling. Can I say you hear that? The bells of silver. The bell. The bells of nightstone. They toll for thee. <laughs> Cast, toll, toll the dead. I want. I want to know yeah, that you would have got it. inspiration, but you still have one unspent inspiration. <laughs> right. But you would have earned it just then. <laughs> All right. So he makes a wisdom saving foe. Does he have to be like slightly dead for this? 
I forget. No, so it's it's uh it's one d eight if he hasn't taken any damage yet, ah. or one d twelve if he has. Ah. I'm thinking he's he's he's, fre he's fresh. I think he's very he's fresh, but he yeah. fails, so he's not that fresh anymore. Uh, and Oops. he takes a good sum of damage. He's bloodied, and um, that necrotic energy just basically does seem to hum with the church bell, and it does seem to just take his life from him just in, in a portion that death the grim reaper himself comes by and takes a nibble out of this goblin's soul nice yes and manny it's your turn uh yeah i'm gonna move up to this rock uh, yeah and then i'm gonna uh ash is gonna fly to behind I'm not Ashes. Gonna fly to near Toral. Okay. Uh, like he's just hiding behind Toral. I'm just putting him there on the map. So I I put Torland to back so your method can be above him. Torland, I can't remember names. <laughs> it's cool. Um, I am going to. Can I get a shot at uh, that goblin? Like past Torald. Oh no, no! You've got you got Torland. two kobolds two and a and a Torland in the way, so no. I mean, friendly characters don't give cover to enemies. But... Two boulders, if that wasn't the case. Okay. All right. Three. Well, he he will peek out of his own. I don't right. mind you like. Where is that? Tipping over. That is a local little town. Great. Well. Is it uh, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot then at the. The one next that's just taken down our total friend. Yes, you can hit him, no problem. Save me. <laughs> he does need some saving. <laughs> Yay, that's a hit. No, it's, sorry, I, I'm sorry, I spoke too soon. It's not a hit. I'm sorry, I, I wanted it to be a hit. I believed in you. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yes, uh, basically what Ash is going to do is Ash is going to spend its action if Torrond hits anything. Torland. <laughs> the Torland hits anything, Ash is basically going to try and fly in their face to give him advantage using the help action. Okay, nice. I see what you're up to. Um, but you'll need to move like, Ash... Ob obviously as melee. So, like, if Torland is going to hit anything in melee... Okay, Ash I... Is gonna, like, Ash is, like, following Torland around now, like, attached to Torland's bag. I get you, and I allow that fully. That sounds perfectly sensible. Mr. Wartle... Make me a death saving throw, or else the bell will toll for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's one failure. If you nat twenty, you stabilize and get one hit point back. Right. Just, just so but you I'm know. Once, I'm one step closer to death. You are one step closer to death. So that little goblin, he's gonna move up to here. And he's just he's just giving half an effort to trying to finish off the wartle. He's doing a short bow to him. Now, when you're prone, a ranged attack is disadvantage. And in this case, it's a miss. So it's just like okay. just just while I'm thinking about it, let's finish off this turtle just to be sure. He misses and he's just going to be like eh, whatever, you know. You're not a prime concern. It was something in passing they could focus their attention to. But either way, they couldn't follow through with the action. Lannister! Your your, your turtle friend is oh, down. Fuck. He needs... What do I do? What he needs... Do do? He needs I'm looking a... at the door and I'm looking at the talk and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> You're gonna hurt me. Alright, I'm gonna go south. Right, from here... Yeah. Um, is that, that goblin's still alive, isn't it? Well, yes. Right. He's fresh. Can I acid breath him, him from here? <laughs> you would 100% get the total. Um, <laughs> well, five, it's like a five feet right line. Yeah, feet. if it's a five foot line, because it's Is projectile, that... I'm going to say you have precision accuracy to this. And yeah, I can say... I spit a lot. Like, I'm just like... <laughs> if you could do the line... <laughs> like if you could do the line without getting the turtle, which you can see here, I'll allow it. Is um, that right there? It's yeah. just put a line on the corner. Yeah, yeah, so, um, okay, tell so me about is... how you open up with the beam of acid to come out from you. Right, I'm just vaulted over that fence. Get the yeah. Turtle, and on the way, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> However, 
here's where my prime membership kicks in. Um, <laughs> Mr. Paladin, you come forward. Your your <laughs> your dark scales pry apart as a pink underbelly resembles in there, but soon magic spews in the form of acid as it ejects out from you. <laughs> Roll me two d six. Constitution saving throw. He fails his constitution, yes. and you full on gremlins. I'm gonna remove this one because he is a puddle. You I have made you know, a, you. you've made a sticky puddle. Uh, actually, no, you did want to keep track, so I'm gonna mark that and I'm gonna put a green token. He is just a goop in there. Uh, how long is it? It's thirty feet. Yeah, it's thirty feet. Yeah. So it just like finishes and paints this field, this, this yeah, this like crop black in the stream oh, of acid. That's going to be a bad harvest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a sick harvest, man. Right, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> Torland. No, 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 no. Um, uh, what? Um, <laughs> sorry. Right. Wartle is um, basically half. If it wasn't for the fact this is acid now dissolving into soil and go- goblin flesh, you know, you're, that's just the puddle you're half next to. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Wartle. Gonna have to wash after this. <laughs> yes, yes, a wash would be good. Um, very nice turn, <laughs> Lannister. If I, if I survive. <laughs> yeah, you'll survive. Twist, it's your turn. Hmm, because I... As of now, Twist definitely, as a collector, he, he doesn't know where the other goblin is right now. But he knew that someone is in trouble. Well, he would have seen me... I'm like right in front of him. He would have seen me firing fire... Uh, down in this direction, so he probably knows there's something down this way. He doesn't know that that one's dead, but... Outrick is hunkered down behind his boulder, like on the <laughs> other side. To a goblin. Very nice. I'm gonna dash 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that is my turn. Alright, beautiful. Outrick, over to you, Mr. Angry Dwarf. Uh... If he bolts over this rock boulder, can he run over and immediately stabilize the dowry? Um, you, like, you'd have to give me a medicine check. Uh, it does not require one, but check he just. Oh, I'm sorry. Check. I'm talking to Torland. I, I fo- it's Altric's turn. Yes. Yeah. No, no. I, he, you were talking to Altric. Yes, I have oh. the medicine kit. Oh, I'm that's sorry. That's that's where I was mistaken. I apologize. But would that be an action or a free action? It would be an action to that... use the kit. Uh, as for right. vaulting the uh, the stone, um, no yeah, you really are like just that five feet off. Um, if he went straight over the boulder, would he be able to just make it dash to here? Maybe. Can I dash and use it? I uh, no. It takes an action to use. It's it's so using an would item. To get me over the boulder if I do the check. Uh, it's mm. it's entirely up to you. I I get that. It's just that awkward amount of distance where it's not even worth the check. It's just like a bit of climbing, and it just t- it just siphons off that precious feet or two to get there. So I'm gonna say no check is needed to vault over that rock, but it it still just keeps you being those feet away from. Being right next to your right. buddy. Hey then, who is going to move? The environment just has you fucked, essentially. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He's gonna say, Hey Torrent, you you go help you buddy? Free action. He's actually gonna wait for a fight, he's just gonna keep on moving. Just yeah, that's cool. That's um, cool. What did you say? You okay, buddy? And he's gone. I've got a arrow in my torso and I'll be like, Oh, oh he's not listening, he's gone. <laughs> oh, he's already gone. Okay. <laughs> And mm. he's going to throw as he's not dashed. Uh, javelin. Uh, can he get a line of sight on this? Ha! That's tricky. Yeah. What do you reckon? Uh, <laughs> essentially, here's what you need to know. If that line crosses a yeah. solid object really supremely, then that's kind of some full cover. Fair enough. 
No, he's just going to. He he knows that guy is dead. If you're stuck for an action, you can do the dodge action, which means anything coming at you would be disadvantage. But you kind of need to be hit in order to keep your rage going. Oh, he's um, he's sort of just dashing for. He's not caring. He he knows that guy. Okay. He, he's just ending there. Alrighty then. Uh, can't find a combat ember. Right, over to Mr. Gublians. Uh, this one down here peeks out. Short bow, you or trick? Uh, what is your AC? Fit. Ah, yep, that's going to be a hit, and you take four reduced to two points of piercing damage. And he goes behind his rock. Woohoo! Three arrows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's that's a good way of seeing it, uh, Mr. Torland. Oh no. From this building, <laughs> another goblin comes over to here, and he tries this Ooh. shot. However, Sorry. I'm going to rule that this is half cover. This is not full cover, but this All is right, still half cover. Um, With my high AC and half cover, I think it'll be. Yeah. What is what is the uh, AC bonus to half cover? I think I it's plus five. five. Yeah, it's plus All five. Right, so this is a 23 he's going to be. Yeah, or he just crits. He does neither, and that's his Good. turn. Good. Yeah, he's been skirting around the edge of the map for quite a while now. All right, now this guy in the uh, field, uh, he's looking hurt, so he's just going to come right out. And uh, again, I think a bit of half cover is fair. No hit, no dice. So you're being pelted by arrow after arrow if they just skirt near the stone work that you're the stone boulder that you're pressed up against. Um, yep, he does his thing. Uh, Torland, it's over to you. Now this guy keep... is not fresh. Uh, I know. I'm just gonna keep on shouting the bells, the bells, <laughs> the bells, 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 bells. Only three damage. <laughs> yeah. He crits his wisdom saving throw. I'm very oh sorry. I know. These are these are stubborn goblins. If I move here, do I get full cover? Uh yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. From their current okay. angle, yeah. I'm gonna try and could I try and hunker down as much as possible then? Uh yes. If you really want to hunker down, you can you can do the dodge action or the hide action, you know. Uh but um I've already it, used my action. Yeah, I know. But uh, it's a case you know, they, they are moving the distance to get around you and uh, just the disadvantage. Anyway. Look at the little smoky sprite that has appeared next to me and be like, you're going to be any help or... <laughs> uh, Ash just gives you're you just like for... a, an evil grin. Oh, you're yeah. just for decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, add Manny, it is your turn. And from where you're concerned, you've got nice lines of shots now. You can hit both these dudes if you wanted. Uh, I'm going to go for... The front guy's looking a bit wounded, isn't he? He is. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to fireball him. Nice. He looks a bit shriveled. So... Uh, actually, just out of interest, what is the tower over here on the right where the one's locked himself in? What is it made of? That is a watchtower made of uh, very thick wood. Okay. If I was to throw a fireball at it, would it catch fire? Uh, Sure. Okay. I'll save that information. Okay. Yes, that is a hit. And I imagine, yes. Oh, you, nice. Yes, you crisp this kobold as the nasty aroma of burning flesh singes in the air like burnt bits of hair as it all Come wafts on. your way. Okay. I am your shiver right now. <laughs> I'm then just going to like inch around the rock because uh, I've already stuck my head out to f throw the fireball effectively. So then I'm just going to run up and like sit there, like high, uh, press my back to the rock next to yeah. uh, uh, next to Torland and just be like, hmm, crispy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Torland god. Was, Torland was going to say a one liner, but when this orange guy just comes up and says that in his face, he's just like, uh, Oh, <laughs> hang on. Um, <laughs> um, Admani, you sit down. Make, make me a constitution saving throw, please. 
Why am I, <laughs> why am I sitting down? You said you, you get behind the rock and you sit down. No, I said I like crouch behind the rock and press my back to it. Oh, that's stretching. fine. You're you're stretching the gluteus maximus. That's all. <laughs> that's all I need. You really did a number on him there, Twist. You did. You really did. <laughs> so you do. You, you want a con save, yeah? Yeah, please. You wince. In pain. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. You just you but you I, try I to stifle. Off. That like I, play, I, I still play it off with my one-liner. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yeah, yeah, you you just turn that pain into uh, pyromaniatic glee. Certainly. So, yeah, I, I say the crispy thing as I come over, and then when I wince, I just go, "I'm going to kill that cobalt." <laughs> yeah, excellent. And, and that was all that con was, um, Mr. Wartle. Uh, <laughs> death saving yeah. foe, please. Oh, don't, no. don't that one. Nah, he just has to not that one. one. Nah. You're fine, and you'll be picked I mean, up. Just a flesh wound. All right, so um, this little goblin has a easy pick of uh, heavy armor or unarmored. So he's going to go with the unarmored person, the Great. dwarf. My choice. That is a miss. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Your AC is 14. I thought it was 15. I apologize. That's a hit. And that's four yeah. half to two. He still laughs. Yeah, he's he, of course. Lannister. <laughs> Two HP loss. Right. Yeah. Oh, God, I'll just get Tortle up and out. Right, I kneel down on one knee. <laughs> I stroke Tortle's cheek with the back of my hand. <laughs> I slap him, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Have you, have, you guys, have you guys seen gameplay or played uh, Detroit Becoming Human? Yeah. Mm, uh, no. th just look for a gif of Connor and Hank where he just bitch slaps this detective and goes, Connor, no, Hank, wake up! <laughs> it's just like a serious slap. Just look at the gif, it's oh, great. Yeah, this, uh, this dragon on turtle thing is great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh know, the, the eggs, the, the clutch of eggs that will be made afterwards. Oh. oh God. <laughs> uh, could he take the kit off me and use it? Cause... Sexual innuendo. Not intentional. Get your kit off. That, that, is, a math, <laughs> that is all things um, that could be done. But uh, oh, Mr. Oh. Lannister has stated he wants to stroke the <laughs> turtle's cheek. <laughs> that is just better, yes. Yeah. Right. Surely I do that. Cheek stroking is a free action. <laughs> and lay on hands. Then, is, yeah. Anyway. And then I said, right, lay on hands, yeah? Yeah, lay on hands. Wait, just, so one point's better, isn't it? To use one point, get him up. Yes. Well, it's yeah, the just... maximum you can heal, like five. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, even like... if you gave like all five to him, he could lose it all in one. Yeah, he could. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna give him one. Yeah, I'll give him one and get him up. Yes, exactly. Uh, I did have a. Oh, there it is. So I'm on four at the minute. Wait. So I'm back up with one HP. You are yeah. conscious with one HP. You are prone, but you'll fix that as soon as you have an opportunity. Right. Anyway. Uh, that was your action to lay That's on hands action, after yeah. stroking and slapping that turtle. <laughs> and now so you, it's uh, Twist's turn. Yes, Twist is going to get uh, the arrow game with this guy. Oh, that's a nice Ooh. shot. You hunt puts his shield up. Yeah. <laughs> we will just hunker down. Yeah. Are you? Is that what? what have you got? Oh! 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 Hatchy, hatchy. oh my god. So Dude, Twist, nice. how do you want this this sniper shot to look? Can I just say the Twist runs like either hot or cold? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yes. No yeah. in between. No in between. It's all or nothing. That, that's the best way to be. A twist, how do you want this like absolute sniper shot to look? I want it to be like when you make like the critical hit shot on uh, Skyrim and they have this slow motion of arrows. <laughs> <laughs> and just the goblin just like ragdolls all the Yes, time. yes. There's there's <laughs> lots of it full on ragdolls. For a moment its limbs were five miles out of the like environment <laughs> and then it just all flicks back in. Yeah, totally. That's great. <laughs> but but dumb. <laughs> Archery increase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, just asking because uh, being asked myself, uh, you are you a small or medium creature, Mister Cobalt? Miss Cobalt? Yes. No, are you medium or small? I am small. Ah, okay. So really, this is this is more accurate for you. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Allstrick, it's your turn now. Excellent. Excellent. Allstrick burns. Excellent. It just hit on twenty-five. How did they do that? Oh, this is this is this is what it means to be a dwarf, man. Right here. No, I swear to God, I had on twenty-five. The last time. <laughs> oh my God, that's so annoying. Jeez. This is what it means <laughs> to be a dwarf. <laughs> What, does that count? Yeah, no. that counts. Can I get to melee? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're very generous GM. I am. <laughs> oh, I try to be. And then you guys he, will hate looks... me when I'm not generous about something awkward. <laughs> ah, he, he looks at his friends. I was just trying to help. Uh, he fingers them, puts the healing kit away, and he runs. <laughs> And he ends up just there, and he is swinging his Warhammer two-handed again at uh, Goblin Boss right next to him. Ah! Um, so, bit of cover. without even taking cover into account, I'm sorry to say that's a miss. No! Oh dear. Oh, but hey, you forced him into melee, which is usually where these kobolds begin to die. However, goblins. 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 <laughs> I'm clearly racist between. I'm clearly racist to all the small grunt enemies. All look the same to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that earlier. You get, keep getting the dwarves confused. Oh my god. Well, hey, these little kobold, goblin, whatever. They crit, all strict. Do six points of damage, half to free. <gasps> Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's a that's a nasty uh, that's a nasty one. Um, that one that one definitely leaves a mark in you. Uh, help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Health. Uh, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit. Are you unconscious? No, I'm close. I've got four HP left. Poland, it's over to you. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna yell at the loud of my voice. If any of you little fuckers are hiding. Come out with your arms down, and maybe we'll let you live. The church bell continues to ring to signify they've not heard you. Your friends already, and the bell tolls for me. <laughs> well, excellent. Yeah, you you do that. Uh, you can give Is me that... an intimidation check if you like. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Bonus. I don't have any bonuses or anything. It's just a flat. Uh, Ten. Oh, I can add one d4 for it. Yeah, add that d4, man. At the D4. Nice. Just super scary. Yeah. 13, yeah. Any goblin that hears better make a move now. You know? <laughs> can I, uh, and I guess I'll, uh, how far can I move? Right, I'll move, um, I'll go over here. Okay, excellent. Okay, wonderful. Add money. It's your turn. Ash screams as she's taken for a, a ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> On Tolman's back. Like, they scream? Ash is just, Ash is just a, I don't know, like opens its mouth in silent terror. Like, it's more of a wee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I try, I, try, I try and blow Ash out. <laughs> you try to blow Ash. Nice. Very nice. Like, um, oh, you know what it's like? It's like Gimli uh, when he's in that cave with all the ghosts. <laughs> like, one's coming up right up to his face. And it's just like. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. So, yeah, at, um, at Bunny. Is the goblin in the tower visible, or is he inside the tower? Mm, he is absolutely not visible, but I've left him there because that's his last known location. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I'm going to... Ooh, hang on. You could make that shot. There's a little bit of old trick in the way. But uh, you said a, friendly there's allies. There as, there's a boulder there as well. There so is I a can... boulder. I missed the boulder. Sorry. Uh, I'm no. I'm just gonna take like a few steps that way. Uh, mm. I think I've got range. I'm gonna firebolt the fucking tower. <laughs> I'm totally. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna aim it. I'm gonna aim for the door so the door burns away first. Yes. And just because the door's probably lighter wood, it might not set the rest of the tower on fire. It just makes it easier to get to the, the little guy inside. I like that. Uh, I like that. Yes. Uh, we'll well... See. I don't want to destroy this town. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool. It's already a shit sheet. Uh, it's already a shit show anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna cast fireball on the door. Do you need me to make any rolls? Nah, it's a stationary target. Just give me the roll so you can do the damage. 
see how along into the burning you get. Whoa, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a good start to a burn, and uh, it gets crispy on the outside, and the flame begins to catch, especially so because you add that bit of fiery twistiness to it, you know? Just really, just internally, like, feast, grow, devour, destroy, burn! Something like that. I'm, I'm not a pyromaniac. Like... <laughs> You've given me the impression how you talked yeah, to Turlan yeah. the last yeah, turn. Impression. You are a pyromaniac. If not... Uh, no, I, was, I, was about killing, I was joking about killing the things that were trying to kill us. Hey, oh, go okay. around burning down houses. Hey guys, I'm not a pyromaniac. I can quick whenever I want. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, 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 no. I can extinguish whenever I want. <laughs> Okay, and wonderful. I'm just going to use the rest of my uh, movement to... Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to I'm gonna stay behind this rock, because I think... Uh, I'm, I'm going to stay behind this rock and just keep an eye on the temple. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. I shouldn't have moved. Oh, well. Yeah. All right, Mr. Wartle, you get up from prone, I hope. What the hell do I do with one HP? You could always hide behind that boulder. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, one HP wasn't good enough. <laughs> if, you've any, if you've got any ranged weapons, you can throw something at the goblin and hide behind yeah, the box. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just, just going to do that. Throw a dart at that guy. Excellent. You never know. This could be the one. This could be the one. Come on, come on. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh wow. Is that, is that 10 damage? No, that's, that's 5 damage. Um... Still but you know what? It's, it's it's minimum damage. He rolled a one on both. <laughs> they both die. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I see. Um, Mr. Wartle, yeah. why don't you just tell me how you make this moment look and maybe persuade me? You know. Well, I'm pretty angry for being down, so uh, I've tried to not. At, you, you know, you usually throw at the the body. Yeah, but, it's, but I, I'm pretty angry, so I've tried to throw at the head this time, and hit him right in his eye. Yeah. Um. So that is a very good shot, and you would do get him right in the eye. It screams out and just goes, Aah! like really watery. Uh, and he cries one side, tears of blood. Um, as this throwing knife is stuck in his eye, um, but he lives. <laughs> he he absolutely fucking lives. He will make attacks at disadvantage though, because he's half kind of blinded, you know. <laughs> also, that was the one I scared with my like, with my shout. So <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Actually, it's its turn. <laughs> it's its turn. So. Uh, <laughs> unwisely get out from cover to squarely face Ultric. It's going to scimitar what? at disadvantage. <gasps> you had a crit in there, and oh. and the regular attack was a twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear the damage. It did six points of slashing oh, damage. No. I'm down to one. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Wow. Just imagine if it had advantage, but yet blinded. <laughs> it did a 23 and a crit. That's just amazing. Yeah, so it's just hacking wildly. and It's doing a wonderful job. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Lannister, this, this, this goblin's out of its mind and it's doing too good a job right. of being stupid. You need to I end it. I think you two can finish him off. And I think they can finish him off. I think I'm going to go back. I... They both have one HP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah. Another goblin right here. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to slap Tortle on the shell and I'm going to go and die on me, yeah? And I'm gonna run over to there. <laughs> Roll to slap, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> One damage. I'm gonna, uh... <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and then I'm gonna javelin that one. Oh, okay. Sure thing. Go for it. Right. This He's speaking out like, a bit, I've so. Got, like, two yeah. javelins left, I believe. No, three. Sure. Um... Ooh. That is a miss. 
Can he oh. roll a? Can he roll a? Yeah, he can a roll D4. a D4. D4 if we sell him less. Yeah. Sell him blessed down. He he is still nice. blessed. Nice. That is still a miss. Oh my uh, god. Still down. Yeah, with that Bad boulder bit. in the way, that's the issue. All right. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Twist, it's your turn. They need another snipe. You take one arrow if you try to fire. Ooh. That give a... Yeah, you've got the shot. You've got the angle. I've got an angle. Yeah, you do. Take, take the shot. Take the shot. Take it to your <sighs> knee and become a guard. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, roll to hit. Go on, twist. Okay, that oh, is a miss. Dude. Wow. The, the first enemy we saw, they're already in the AC 20 lead. <laughs> Alright, then. Um, this little uh, goblin, he sees a paladin on the march. Gonna go for a short bow. Mr. Paladin, he rolls a 19. You take <laughs> damage. <laughs> You've gone fucked up now, boy. <laughs> <I'm coming. laughs> you done goofed. Yeah. <laughs> you take three points of damage, and three points. he begins to run away. <laughs> <laughs> just, just no, kite no. and shoot. <laughs> just banging on the door. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> By the hairs of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in. <laughs> Mr. Torland! Puff and I'll puff and I'll acid blow <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I like that nursery rhyme. Torland, <laughs> it's your turn. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, see if I go here. <laughs> oh, you've got to waddle if you uh, You poor dwarf. <laughs> Defacing the temple. No, I can't, like... Can't get an angle. I think, um... Uh, oh, I know what I can do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Yeah, I'll go over here, and I'll toll the. I'm gonna toll on this guy. Ah, the non-fresh one with the with the throwing dagger in his the dart yes. in his eye. Yeah, well, I, I think I think he's taken a few hits, so that's gonna be a one d four. Yeah, I, I would love if he crit his wrist. Oh, that's eight damage. Well. <laughs> <That's two. laughs> he crit, didn't he? No. Um. <laughs> When you're making a wisdom a saving throw, matching the DC is a pass. Oh, this is a worthy goblin. I'm taking his head. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. He's a magnificent beast of a goblin. I'm very that sorry. Is... He passes. That one. No, uh, this one over he's got, here. All, he's got fucking wounds. He's I'm, got I'm... a dart in his eye still. He's fighting with an arrow in his eye. Basically, but he's wise as fuck. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> he has the mental willpower to push through death and being half blinded. And Manny, maybe you're the thing to kill him. No. Um. I so him. Ash is gonna dash, um, yeah. and she's gonna jump onto um our dragonborn friend's shoulder. Ah. Ooh. Okay. He's whopping hands. Is that uh, she's, yeah, she's basically just gonna use her action, obviously not this turn because she's dashed, next action she's gonna use, like, to try and help the paladin yeah. hit whatever he's gonna hit. That's cool. I'm like, oh shit, what the f oh, it's you. She's, she's like, <laughs> super light. She's super light, she's made of smoke, you you won't feel her, but she's yeah. like, <laughs> Um, yeah, let's, hey, let's have a crack at that. Yeah, that's you that's a clean shot. Go on, do it. Uh, I'm also gonna I feel like I'm gonna No, I'm not I'm, I was gonna use my inspiration but I didn't need to. <laughs> nah, you didn't need to. It's not. That is a hit. Do more than one point. You <sighs> nice. burn this poor suffering kobold. Out of his misery, goblin. Oh. God. Oh my god! I did, I did it again! <laughs> you burn this creature until it's unrecognizable from either kobold oh. or goblin. Alright. Is there any bones left? Yeah, there's bones, there's skin, it's charred. Um, Mr. Wartle, it's your turn. 
There's there's one mm. goblin left. One lone little goblin. <laughs> Uh, isn't there two in the windmill? There's two. two. There's one in the tower, and there's still the two in the temple. Uh, Alright. Well, I'm going to go in over here. And this goblin hasn't gone inside yet, has, it? has he? The goblin so, is not inside yet, no. No. And throw a dart. Sure. I'll see you shoot around that boulder. So that you, I'll just let you have this one. But it is at disadvantage. <laughs> and at disadvantage, ah. that's a hit. And... At this damage, you almost kill him. Ah, oh, come on, not again. They have, <laughs> uh, they have, Mr. CJ. You know they have health seven, <laughs> don't you? Pardon? Never mind. Um, oh, we've we've all hit them several times for six damage, and they're peaceful standing. So <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing they've got like twelve HP or something. Nah, they no, got they, seven. They, they, oh, yeah, they've, they've, they've been like on death's door every time we. Yeah. Oh. Them. <laughs> yep. I tend to not remember how much HP things I have because I always change it when I use them in my campaigns. <laughs> oh, nice, Mister Lannister, your your valiant f fiendish enemy has been slaughtered by um, <laughs> Mister Fire Wizard. <laughs> but there's one left to claim. If only you had the movement. Right, uh, I've still got a javelin. And I've yeah. Got, um, right, yeah, I'm gonna go over there. That was the was that there. Mm -hmm. I, can check. I can check. That was back one. That's my little uh, fiend. He, it's Ash is following behind. Right, and I'm just gonna absolutely, as I ran yeah, over there, I'm just gonna racist. like javelin it like I'm in the Olympics, <laughs> as straight for his face. Nice. Let's see it. Right. Okay. Boom. That is a hit. No. Yes. You do more than one point of damage, <laughs> and you kill that goblin. Now, you finished him off. before <laughs> we get on to what happens after this moment, this tower continues to burn. No coal goblin body is found. All remains are found. Very suspicious. Suspicious? Swam away. Mm. Uh, you guys thing? will perhaps go back to the still ringing church, but yep. if there's nothing else you want to mention right away, uh, we are at the end wanna, of our as time. We pass, oh. as we pass, I want to look into the hole. Yeah, I was thinking that. I want to also to investigate the, the tower. I want to see if there's yeah, like any secret the that hole? out of the tower. A bit of fire down there to light it up or something. It's not a deep hole. It actually is only as shallow as about five to ten feet or so. It doesn't go into um, a huge cavern or anything. Okay, well then I can just look into it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Anything inside? Um, yeah, can we like find anything? No, no. Honestly, uh, it, you, all you see is that. Well, uh, Mister Dwarf, why don't you make me a nature check? A nature check. Yes. Um. Any dwarf can make me a nature check for this matter. Or well, check, he's still standing at the burnt goblin. He's gonna, he's checking. Hmm. Uh, all you can tell is that a large rock used to be here, and it was removed. Huh. Would a history check help me? Yes, yes, it would. Since I've got stone cunning, can I? That's have... why I let you make the check. You know, um, but there is no stone to be checking. Okay. Which is unfortunate. Oh. But you can give me a history. No, okay. No, no. Okay. It's just a hole. It's, it's a big, <laughs> wide, gaping hole. So while you, know, all, know. while you all peer at this hole, wondering its mysteries and significance, several kobolds burnt, sniped, oh, goblins. goblins, sniped, <laughs> burnt, planted. You can see like, trees look into the sky and say, goblins! <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the, and the Lord says, I'm sorry. Um, and <laughs> in a last desperate me. attempt, Dad Manny likes to investigate the towers and mains. There is no secret passage. All it there is nothing. It is just a gap between the water and the watchtower. Yeah, it must have swung away. Yeah. Mm. When um, somebody made a perception check and rolled a six or seven to hear a sploosh, they were unfortunately too deaf to hear. Do we level up? 
You do not level up. Not oh. yet, anyway. And with that, I leave this session with the bells of the church still ringing. <laughs>